Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 16 As mentioned in, in the previous episode we're gonna be reading the whole thing that it's over here uh, feel, free to, uh, feel free to skip ahead That's what I was trying to say uh, We did get the desk uh, The Prince of the Comet That is uh, a tale of betrayal and this is the one we used to decipher those messages. The Ethian key stuff. Uh, we're gonna do a few things today. Uh, but usually, uh, no, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna tease you on that because... It's gonna be very self-explanatory and... It's also going to... Yeah, as I said, it's pretty self-explanatory when we get to see stuff. But... Other than that, let's get checking everything here because we everything that it's readable we are going to read today and i know it's gonna be a little bit of a pain for the vast majority of people that are not skipping feel free to pause read and skip <laughs> is that the thing but it is really important uh, quite frankly some of these are just tales and plays but there is a lot of uh, things here that are related to lore so it's uh, and the story more more likely so we would do well to read them all. Uh, for example, this one. This one is a play. Uh, feel free to read it. I'm kind of giving it a... a little bit there. Not, not completely reading. Uh, this one is the one that... Okay, there's a note here. From Varakir, uh, we made our stand. Meant to rule, but let astray by wicked tentacle and wicked hand this world belongs to the gray orindal stole all we had yet taught the weapons by which to slave forge your mind to ironclad this world belongs to the gray ah uh, this is a poem as well the exile freed us with his command to conquer what was taken away crush every monument into finest sand this world belongs to the gray once again trade your heart for steel intent for with whip and mine we flay. Let them all hear of our descent. Very well. Uh, what else we got here? There's nothing in here. Memoirs. Mm. So yeah, this is uh, about the couple that I told you about that lived in this tower. My life has been a long succession of pleasures. To see my town take to my ideas and cease legal discrimination of local orcs. To see my fights against horrid living conditions in city factories take off. To have the chance to see a new generation take to these ideas of a, uh, of a better, kinder, fairer, intelligent world. And run with it to new riches of the continent. It was not a life without struggle, however... Uh, and I shall regret its failures. My old friend Suolto comes to mind, who adopted such cruel ideologies later in life. I will forever console myself in the idea that such a brilliant mind will only conceive such theories under the strain of exile. And the promise of re re reinstatement, as she ultimately was. Okay, so these are... Things regarding the Geith Yankee, maybe we should read it. It's a lot. Um, this book comprises several chapters, one for each uh, seated source. It claims to contain first hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 4 Palidor the Swift. 700 years of age. Wood elf storyteller hailing from the wood of sharp teeth. It took me several 10 days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Palidor felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed uh, demonstrating I was not threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry this tale relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked a small fire between us. It was like none I had heard before or since. I asked if it were fiction and he insisted emphatically it was as true as his own right eye. Long ago before my eyes and ears before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, 
there was an empire of people or perhaps only belief an empire of brain eaters soul wasters they call themselves illithids the flayers of minds the children of Keith were bowed, bent in service of the flares, a passionate people made to serve a cold belief. The flares were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor, no proud will or, uh, or passion could break Keith's children free, until at last a reckoning its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events history making the cowed would not be cracked. Keith's children fought back valiantly their freedom theirs the players bent and broken till today so there it is mm, let me just give it a quick look at this du, 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 du. Mm. yeah it's all right I'm gonna probably, I'm probably gonna put uh, timestamps so you can skip this <laughs> shit show. I know it, I'm terrible at reading. Uh, have me some patience. Uh, English is not my first language. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is a play. And this is about the couple I told you about as well. The dog as well. It's a book on death and resurrection. More about the Githyanki. We did read this one already, it's repeated. This is uh, another thing like a play more, more or less. And that's about it. So let's see. Mage's friend. Let's see. Arcane plus one religion plus one. Might as well lose it uh, myself because I got no rings. It's a button here. Let's see. Wait, why did that strange dog collar just vibrate? Oh, the dog. Do I still have it? Uh. Do, 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 do. Let's see. No. Did I give it to someone else? Might have left it in camp, quite frankly. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm taking a look here. No, I don't have it. Let's see if I left it there. Real quick. Hopefully. There it is. I knew it would be it would be for something. It's quite weird. Okay, so what uh, what do I do? Do I put it on? What now? Clever. Food is dispensed for anyone wearing this collar. Ah, it's for the it's food for the dog. Uh. Only one serving for me, I guess. Okay, so yet that was it. Well, interesting nonetheless. Uh, I wonder... I wonder how much uh, does that give me? 
What's it? Uh, what's a raw steak? Ten camp supplies. All right, it would have been good to get more of that. It's gold. And yeah, it seems like we really. Uh, let's see if there is any other book left. It seem not. Oh, the painting. Those uh, cost some money, so we're gonna keep it. But yeah, if there is if there is anything else here, we're just gonna go up. Alrighty. These guys are alive now. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Precisely. That's the reason why you want to read the books. So this up here uh, are the continuations of the play he's insinuating. What art thou, friend? A rescue from my lonely wake. Not of love for me. Not love for blood and steel. Command as you see fit. My lord. Ready. Very well. How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? Okay, so th these three are... Uh... These three are supposedly uh, from the play. I don't know which one though because I think we skipped it. Does anything work? Oh. Very well. What is this? Uh, Every time I get a new thing, I miss the position of where it is. Uh, there. Guiding lights. Invocation cantrip. Used by previous owner to access both the under dark, darkest corners and her own basement. This ring seems to reflect light where the, uh, there should be known. Uh, very well. My ring lit up. Must have been linked to that button. Oh, and now we can actually, we actually got two buttons now because we didn't, we didn't have, uh, we can only descend. Uh, let's see if we can get something from here. I don't know if I can just pick up stuff. There is a patch, uh, this thing. The paper is torn and patched in many places, as if it was well used but treasured. On, on it is a small poem without a name. These empty sheets are all, uh, are all that's left of you. The last of all uh, the thoughtless gifts you you gave. I will hold on to them. It's all that I can do. I can throw them away. I I can't throw them away. I never been that brave. Very well. Is there anything else I can say to him? Oh, he gave me something. Did he? I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to see if I can get anything else from him. Let's see. Let's use all of them. Oh, what the hell? 
Well, 70. Let me see. Oh, this was not how it was supposed to to happen. So, 18. Well, they hit hard. How about this? Yeah, they all hit pretty all right. It's going to be tough. Let's see. God bless. Let's try and... On the victor's path. This is not good. There is, uh, well, even if they don't hit hard, it's just lots of them. Let's put the hex on him, just in case. Uh, I think I should have read them. <laughs> I should have read the books. This wouldn't have happened, probably. Okay. Let's cook with fire, baby. Come on. Come on, Carla, you're MVP. MVP. There it is. Uh, I don't know if I should do the frenzy. How many rests I got? This guy. Oh, I don't, I don't even want to put him. No, he's not going to do anything. I don't want to have him. Uh, yeah, he cannot die. That, that would be terrible. Let's see. I still got the bless. Which I shouldn't have. Let's cast this. But yeah, as I said, I should probably not have the bless by now. In any case, I can do this. Maybe... The thing is, they are all scatter, so... Mm, it's kinda... Mm, precisely. Mm, I don't know. It's probably not a good idea. Nah. Come on, don't miss it. Just start moving, quite frankly. Very well. There's something cool, sword. That ain't too cool. Ooh. Yeah, he hits hard. Shell hearts down. Oh, that's not good. This guy being dead, then the rest is not that difficult. But yeah. There we are. As for everyone else. It's gonna, I'm gonna start scattering around this. There is this guy up here. That one. Yep. Okay, I don't think I can make this. There is some rage throw. I don't think I've seen it. What do you mean? How is it interrupted? Wow. 
What about this guy? Mm. I don't think I understand. What? Oh, she's been doing that lately, actually. I don't know why. It seems like I had to lo uh, be looking at her whenever I do this. Otherwise, she doesn't answer to, to that. I don't know why. It's the <laughs> it's the guy. Yeah, I don't really want him to be involved, quite frankly. I just don't want him to die. Let's move it over here, I guess. I cannot lose that guy. They do hit hard, not gonna lie. Um, should probably just heal myself. That's true, this uh, this sword it's quite uh doesn't have any movement, I forgot. Yep. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm I think I'm just gonna jump up here. Nice. And just have to keep going. Go back down. That guy is dead. This is my time. Is this too far away to an uh oh it isn't? Damn. Coming through. Ready for another round. I was hoping I was gonna uh, damage them both. Oh. Let's see that one. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> I can still do that one. I forgot. Okay, that's not too bad. I actually wonder how... How bad is that? Hey, not bad at all. What the hell? Need to stay focused. I'm gonna heal him. Take care of you. As usual. <laughs> Well, they're both pretty f mm, fucked up. No time for mercy. Just because I'm really far away. Have them ready. And this is not gonna make the shot, is it? Ballocks. Battle favors the fearless. Go on. There we go. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm sorry about this. I, I didn't really want this to happen. Uh, just so you know, now that they're all dead and we're not going to get to see that, these guys, they're just going to be around here and they're going to treat you as if you were the, uh, the guy that owns the tower, the one that left. And you can talk to him and a lot of stuff, but yeah, we're not going to get to see any of that. So we get the antique key. This key, uh, you can get 
by talking to him. I think I just did it wrong. And this one, I think it's pretty good. It's lightning. I don't think I... I don't think I will get it though. And that's gonna encumber me, so I'm gonna pick it up with... Uh, Shard. Char so, we read that. From there... Let's just have a quick look around. See what we can find. But yeah, this wasn't supposed to go like this, quite sadly. I apologize. But you know, it, it is what it is. These are just things that happen. Oh. What? What do we miss here? I should have a scratch around. It's quite helpful. Oh yeah, and let's use one of these. So yeah, we can we can go to the basement now, and we want to do. But they just have. I look around here, just make sure I didn't miss nothing. And that's because of the ring, basically. The ring we, uh, this automaton gave us. Okay. The mask spores. This is the, more of the things that the, oh, the, the table is bugging. The mind flayer was asking us to, to get. Water there. There's more books here. No scrolls. Nerves. This is uh, repeated. Also repeated. Those scrolls are like tier one. Not really useful. I don't really know why I picked them up. Uh, Tongue of Madness as well. And Round Flask. Oh, look at that. Staff of Arkane Blessing. I wonder what the next move is. Jesus. Let's have a look. Uh... Saving throws, weapon attack rolls. Ah, oh, this is actually for someone that doesn't have the blessing, you know. Uh, it might be useful in the future, once we we figure out what we really want to do with Shadow Heart. Because, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious that the build we were intending does not work. Or it's not working so far. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a gilded chest. It's, uh, is it locked? It isn't. Spark soul. Oh, look at that. Grants resistant to lighting. Mm. The world cannot be electrocuted. That's brilliant. Uh, that's gonna... Next, I that's obviously for Shadow Heart. Send this and let's get all of this. That is another piece of the spark jolt sort of set that we were trying to do. I think I made a mistake here. We wanna we wanna look into that afterwards, but yeah. And that is not the last piece though. Uh, we still need one more. Elminster. Uh, well, Elminster, we won't see in this playthrough because. Well, because Gale is dead, <laughs> basically. 
And uh, okay, there is uh, that, that shelf that I did not look into it. Let's see. Or at least I think I didn't. Right. So that's about it. And that is the arcane tower, lads. That's it. We made the whole shebang. You see, we are back at the start. And from here... Well... We do need to kill everyone. To kill everyone, lads. But, actually, I was thinking about it. Let's, uh... I don't know. Let's step away. Pretty far away. And then... Eliminate Spore. Dismiss him. To the yep. Because I was thinking... I cannot kill them just yet, you know? First of all, I was thinking about the missions that we got, uh, we got left. And a lot of things that we get to do with that sovereign over there. So maybe we should just get done with all of that. And then we will decide if we want to kill uh, the sovereign or kill Glot. Uh, step away from there, lads. And we're going to talk to the Mind Flayer. I have never seen anything like uh, because we got the things. He, he, he asked so us to get them Tongue of Madness and the other thing. So let's see. Perhaps, but I greet you, child of the dark. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I found those mushrooms you were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omelion turns away to prepare the potion lost in its own musings you must drink the entire draft i can make no promises as to its taste mm, difficult let's have it you know this guy's not really um, uh, you know with them the potion is just no fear description the only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Oh. Try and stay focused. Well, nice. Dude. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid. But trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Ooh, uh, wisdom. Draw on your willpower and resist. Uh, 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 uh. nice. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision. But the void cannot draw you in. The temple spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear Damn. pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it needs to hollow out your skull. Fucking hell, let's see. Uh, drown, out, drown out the tadpole by focusing on a tune... All of your mind from the psionic seizure resists the panic from within. Okay. Oof, the blessing. Should I use it though? Okay, but. I'll tell you what. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna make it safe because we do not want to mess this up. Ooh. Ah, okay, I'm gonna use one. There we go. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite oh. in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? What happened? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Well, that ain't good. You were supposed to make it weaker, not stronger, dude. You have my deepest apologies. The lava did not care for my intentions. More power is better than less, at least, I guess. Yet that power may grow beyond your control. I have another intermediate solution, if you are in need. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift. But, in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Only, okay. Oh, we can just do that. Gold. Uh... I'm gonna be in this situation if it wasn't for the Mind Flayer. You owe me. Let's intimidate him. We're an Oathbreaker, no less, so... Oh, it's a fucking 20. <laughs> oh. I shouldn't be saving for, for throws, but, you know... It's kinda... Necessary at this point, we don't re we really want to get this right. Never. We shouldn't cause trouble, Omeluum. There are enough threats down here in the Underdark. Very well. I abhor violence and would rather prevent it where possible. Nice. Here, it is yours. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That thing better work. If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to complain. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Well, at least we got the ring. How is your more personal research progressing? Uh, let's see. The new the species receives from other minds is difficult to... It's, uh... You have advantage on saving throws against charm. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna do something real quick. Mm, and I'm gonna just sell everything that I got. Every, all the rubbish and stuff. I don't have much, but... Yeah, just a quick cut as usual for this part. 900. Oof, really? Well, that's cool. Let's see what we uh, what he's got. Mm. Oh. Can be thrown at a target to apply its effects. Hey, this is good. 
Besides, he has no money enough to pay for my wares. Uh, you restore an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. Yeah, I'm gonna get this because I think uh, we can change sh shard at some point with this. And I think we will at some point. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it pretty much. So let's see if I can put some of the wares. Very well. We've got to almost 3,000 gold. That's not bad. Considering that we haven't really focused on that. May your travels be safe. And we got a few things that are nice. A couple of things. Probably, probably can put this on, on Shadowheart. But then again, on another such an accelerated rate. another build. Maybe going back to the cleric. Not, not 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 really seeing the benefits of trying to make damage with her. And not really using her a lot. So, guys. Mm, I did dismiss Glut over there because there is a few things we have to talk about with the with this sovereign. And I forgot about this girl, this gnome. She has some missions for us, I believe. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? Uh, remind me. <laughs> like I said, save my kin. And if you kill any dwerger, you won't see any tears from me. But we killed the dweller. I'm almost sorry to hear it. I hope to have the pleasure myself. There's plenty more guarding my people, but I'd say you've made a fine start. Very well. Yeah, so she can give us missions. And... We have to talk to the Sovereign after killing the Dwergar. That's something I was not going to do. We were just going to straight away kill them all. And that would have been terrible. It greets you with a harrowing elegy. Cheerless as the new moon. The Dwergar are slain. The rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do a new harmony, serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. 
fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely Keep eyes on me. Given to us. Freely you may take. The guardian gate is open. Oh yeah. Claim your reward. Nice. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near. This one is called. Near. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. Always another evil to correct. Always another monster to slay. Very well. It's one of the missions. Consider it done. I will bring Nir's head. Oh, okay. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Righty, so. He gave me something with this, uh, with the spores. Bliss. Affect, uh, affected entity has a plus 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws until the next long rest. Uh, but only until the next long rest. Righty. There is a thing that's open now. Uh, here. Here. Very well. Attention to the movie lots. Things are going here. It's a lot of XP. Pale corpse. This is a drow. And look at that. Icy metal. We do have the icy uh, pointy spear thing. Uh, it's got some minerals, gold, wood bark, whatever that is. Basic poison, simple toxin. Let's read this. Oh. The cover proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. Flump. Recall what you know, this title, Drow, plumped, largely uh, banning uh, parasites. But what do you know of their love lives? That's weird, but we got that at least with a Drow. Oh. Lately, I find if I don't let the dice roll and I, and I press it, hurry up, I usually get the, <laughs> uh, the, the good rolls. Flumps reproduce asexually. This text contains exactly the opposite. Ah, uh, it's not about sex. Details to oh, it is. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. Ah, oh, well. An illusion. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Adamantine. We've been after that. We've encountered some people talking about it. Uh, the pages apparently copied from a master uh, a master tome describe the construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. Among the Sharons dwelt the gnome Seal of Jali, whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under his uh, tutelage, the Sharons built the Great Forge which could hit Mithril with such vigor as, tor uh, as to turn it into ad adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could uh, mold the finest plates and armor. Yet the jewel of Jali's eyes was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it. A construct said to uh, be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. 
and then there is instructions for operating the great forge and ingredients raw mithril ore and proper and a proper mold place the ore and mold into their respective chambers pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product so again with the adamantine forge these people need a new hobby mm, yeah we are gonna see about that we are gonna uh, go check that out all of this is rotten Uh, Scroll of Lightness, Pale Corpse, Shadow of Mensa We've heard that name before. Yeah. So, one thing we did pick up, it's this. The Icy Metal. And we got the Icy Crystal. We should have, <laughs> however, we should have the other thing. And I'm missing... And I'm not really sure why. I'm I'm not sure if I sold it. Uh, to be quite frank, I'm not sure if I picked it up. So, you're gonna excuse me. I'm gonna go real quick see if that's the case. Okay, here we are. That's the um, that's the sp the beholder, Taylor. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Uh, there is a backpack there. There is a. Did I not loot these things? Wow, I did not. Really? However, we did kill Dorun, or Dorun, whatever it's pronounced. There it is. That's him. Oh! I did not see this at the... Well, when we were here. Ow! What the hell? Okay. Not bad. Skeleton, nothing. Careful with the trap, lads. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Did I really not pick those things up? Look at all this. I'm encumbered. Wait, that's fucking impossible. Oh, and I got a crit. Let's go. Well, pure shite. What have you? I'm gonna take the encumbered off and then we're gonna teleport back to the place where we were. I do have a lot of shit. I should definitely start... Uh, what do you call it? To organize those things better. So... We have this, uh, the, these three things, the Icy Metal, Health, and Crystal. This we can combine and we will make a Spear. Somehow I did not pick it up back then. Like that. Let's have a look. Jesus. Okay. This is not bad, it's very rare. When dealing cold damage, the wielder deals an additional one cold damage. Insidious cold. Dealing cold damage with a spell possibly inflicts shield upon the target. So basically, it's like a silence sort of thing. Well, this can be useful. Hey, it's really good item. Uh, we're gonna send it to camp. I'll see if I can sell some more things. I greet you, friend of the dark. 
to um, about a hundred. And yeah, I, I, I have a lot of shit on me. But we'll clean it up. We'll clean it up. Do not worry about it. And that's about it. I think if we look around. Yeah, that's the mission about killing Spore with Clot. We're not going to do that yet. Because we need to do all these things. Kill Nair and all those missions. Over here, that's nothing. That's, to, uh, that's the exit. But yeah. We definitely should be going. But before, we are going to go to the to the blighted village. You didn't think we were gonna go back here, did you? Actually, no. My bad. Um, to use the green forge, oh no, not the green forge. To use the the adamantine thing, we need either a dagger, a great sword, not a long sword, that doesn't work, a great sword, or a sickle. And I do not have a great sword whatsoever, I think. It has to be a, a normal one, you know, because I do have the Everborn, Everburn blade, but it's a... Uh, yeah, it has to be normal like the dagger here, for example. We got the dagger, we got a dagger. But I've seen that as well. So I think we're going to get a sickle. And I think... Uh, I think here there is one that we can get. We have not been here also in a while. interesting to come by a lot of things started here everyone left by the way remember that all the tieflings uh, are gone oh look at Koga what's good we almost kill her remember peace enjoy it while it lasts Not a talk to deep girl. Should have killed her. This guy has a few It'll things we've sold. Us all to recover, but you've helped us take the first step. Of course. This guy should have some things we've sold. It's a short sword. He doesn't have a. Does not have a great sword at all. Those are the paintings we've been selling. Really good. Uh, yeah, he does not have a great sword. Well, I was hoping to get a great sword. That would have been, you keep balance. That would have been cool. But that being the case, there is a uh, there is a sickle over there in the in the um, druid's uh, place. However, now that we're here, it's a good idea to go look around because everyone's gone, so we can basically loot a lot of things. Well, those guys are there, but they are not looking at it, anything. So we can kind of just check everything. Well, it's going to be empty. 18 gold. This is where the um, long swords. Mm, that's, uh, that, that doesn't, doesn't work. And there is not much apparently. Oh, well, Ethel left everything here. We're gonna pick it up. All of this is uh, supplies.
whole chicken. All of the right supplies. Uh, elixirs and potions. Follows complete guide to the behavior of nymphs. Okay. That's interesting. I'll take that. Potion of healing. Toad teapot. And it seems like that's it. Oh, there is another of those. Just bank. I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, I am diverting a lot. Oh, remember? Remember what happened here? Our first victim. Well, one of the first victims. It seems like the drow, or at least our uh, dark urge drow, doesn't really like it. Tieflings, that's not the first, yeah, the, the only tiefling we've killed. Over there, mm, nothing that resembles a great sword. So, yeah, empty. Okay. Nothing else to be stolen, it seems. But yeah, here's where the sickle is. Uh, I think we can take it pretty easily. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no I'm not entirely this. sure. You see, there it is. And they are not... Mm. Oh, and that's gonna encumber me. Let's send something to someone like that. This to camp. So. It looks like I'm not gonna right. be Don't seen. Yeah. Pretty well. We got the sickle. We are going to go once again. We'll see about that forge. I wonder if you guys remember this place. So, there is this thing we need to. Uh, I don't even remember. There it goes. So we do this a couple of times. I think. And then we put the susur bark. There it is. Precisely. We did get the sickle. We could use the dagger, but I, I want to see the sickle. The roaring furnace awaits an offering. A candy sweet scent wafts forth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The sickle is yours for the taking. Very nice. Have a look. Ah, uh, there is. Silences target on hit. That's what it does, basically. <laughs> it's the same with the dagger. I'm not sure with the great sword. But yeah, we got that mission done. We are gonna go to the... with uh, that being done. To the Underdark Beach. 
it's a few secrets here and the episode it seems like the episodes gonna be longer than usually are because I still have to show a few things around here Let's see. If you guys remember, this is the place from which we entered the arcane tower. There is another thing there to be exploded. And if you guys pay attention, you will remember. Uh, yeah, no, the, we, we did this already. You will remember when we came here, there was another panel here that disappeared somehow. Well, I'm gonna show you why. Hopefully we get the perceptions. We do not. <laughs> so, basically guys, what happens is a lot of this disappear when you step on them. So, and you plummet to your death. So, like that. Mirror mushrooms. Step on the wrong one and plummet to your death. Precisely. Uh, I cannot move. The hell. Well, this one was good. I am uh, in in danger. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna have to load a save. So that one's a bad one. This one should be good. Nice. See? There we go. And look at that. Mushroom circle. That we're gonna inspect just in a second. It's a little little thingy secret, I guess. But here, this is the perception that I failed. This is a mirror um Another illusion. illusion wall. Is anything real down here? Because when we interact with this one, look at that. Does it ring a bell? This place, this uh, door. Pretty weird, huh? So this is another entrance uh, to Auntie Ethel's secret lair. I don't know, it seems like I cannot... Oh, look at that. See? <laughs> that's where Marina was. But yeah, that's, uh, that, that, that's it. That's it. I just wanted to show that little thingy. That I completely missed in my first playthrough. So. Now... That being discovered, we just interact with this one. And it sends us right back down. That's it. Oh, uh, I grouped them. A few things here. We can go that way. Mm, I forgot about that one. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, my bad. And... 
I should not have done that because my my party went left behind. But yeah, here. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. There is nothing to to see here. I thought there was another path of autonomy, wisdom saving throws. Let's take it. Uh, hopefully they can make the jump. Really? And let's see. It's one by one, dude. What am I to do? To jump, to jump, love. Let's get going. Very well. So let's do one of these and let's go down there. I'm not kidding, guys. This is a, a comp an area that I completely missed in my first playthrough. And it's quite funny. I'm gonna show you what this is about. So, you see those guys? <laughs> Fucking Murlocs. They seem to be worshipping or chanting above some deity. Let's have a look. Good afternoon. Oh, oh blood to fill your oceans. Oh, blessed Boal. Our bones to build your temple in the deep. A wave of pure devotion washes over you. And with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Purge priest! Promises! <laughs> Your god wants proof! Wants blood! You don't recognize the creatures, but oh, this damn. voice seems to have a hold over them. Well... <laughs> you! Lord of murder demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god Boal. <laughs> what if you don't get it? Yeah, precisely. Uh, some sort of uh, copycat. I don't, I don't know, wannabe. Boal is the god of murder. Try and determine who or what they're talking to. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something, guys. I try to um, sort of save them, release them, and it never worked out. So, it seems like there is no other way to do it. So, let's see what we can make out of this. I'm going to make a save. And probably try to do this. Fuck. There we go. This presence. The magic is not divine, but fey. And it is murderous. Well placed. Blood wants a sacrifice. Blood blood. Let's see if we can manage. I don't think it's possible. Uh, I can... Little fake creature. Yeah, let's do that. you feel the divine presence falter then revert to its basic cruel nature ah well <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Indeed. Don't do anything hasty now. The fish folk got plenty of power. We can share. Blessed boy. What? <laughs> Shut it, you. I'm talking to my chosen. Chosen got power. You want power, don't you? <laughs> I'll just kill you and claim it for myself. Bobby for Boal's chosen. Won't let you enslave them any longer. So yeah, that's what I tried. I won't let you enslave them any longer, but it did not work. Uh, let's do that one. I don't need your powers. Kiss my ass, then. This Lord of Murder likes doing his own dirty work. Kill! Kill for Buell! Yeah, it seems like the outcome is always the same. Don't really know. Don't really know. How to save them. It seems like they are doomed to die for Boar. Uh, some of them hit hard, so <laughs> it's not so funny. Hopefully, I can get them quickly. I guess I should be trying and getting this guy first. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, there goes Boal. <laughs> See, he's not too weak. He hits. It's five, 5 HP. On the fish folk now. Ah, oh, the dog's gone. Very well. All faithful, but yeah, they lost the faith now. Mm, I'm gonna get close to the rangers because I think there is a couple of them, like up above. Yeah, probably should start scattering now. Like that. <laughs> they were devout though they were they were pretty loyal let's see it's not too bad I guess that one oh it's too far away yeah never mind again the same thing I don't know why that that's a thing but yeah whatever My little trick. it's insanity though the the returning pike on Carlac it's really fucking good Let's go here. I doubt I can hit that one from up here. No, I probably can't. No, I don't know. It's too high. It's too high. Are oh, they both alive? There's a gilded chest there. Oh, there is the... 
Who's the guy up above? I didn't see that one. Let's uh, get this. And what else can I do? I don't have the move for that yet. Uh, nah, too far away. Just shoot him. Well, <laughs> cool. <coughs> so yeah, he has the advantage there. Okay, finally. Dead. And hopefully I can move a little bit. Just a little. this guy alive so it's not too bad I, I think I I was just um, I just got used to from the, my first place with the tactician yeah, HP bars and requirements maybe let's see if I can actually mm, I don't know it doesn't seem like I'm able to pull it off yeah, I am too... Let's Easy. see. Okay. And the last one is up there. Too so far away for Will, I think. Yep. Mm, I think it's gonna still be blocked because I'm down there. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, nice. Oh, sh sh well, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be one of my gameplays without messing up everything. Very well. Nothing here. We're gonna start looting everything. Yeah, they were very loyal, it seems. There is a gilded chest. It's got nothing. These guys just have their weapons. Sickle of Boal. Slashing, infused with the incon inconceivable might of the formidable Boal. Oh, let's send it to camp. We'll see it later. Oh, and this is Boal. <laughs> Doesn't have much. This is a sacrifice. Ah, oh, God. I got way too much shit. Let's see. Uh... Now, there we've been already. There is a drawing in the in the in here. It's one of them fish folk. Message in a battle. Something over there. Mm. Sevlor. Sticks. Uh... Okay, so Donny. Sevlor. Huh. Oh, there's a lot of gold here, and it's all scattered.
right? Uh, the ecstasy of murder. Once Baal's favor has quickened within one of his beloved murderers, the bliss of his love is nigh indes indescribable. So this guy was basically like, yeah, like a fan or something. He wanted himself to be the same. That's pretty funny, to be honest. It was quite a funny uh, scene when I got to discover this. Uh, the poor Morlocks, the fish folk. They were just uh, faithful worshipping. Whoa, 100 gold, nice. It's a gilded chest. Okay. Uh, is that one of those? No. Here. That might be worth a look. Nice. Yeah, he's gonna be um. Slightly longer episode due to, uh, I think due to the reading at the beginning of it. By my hand. Okay, so Will cannot jump that far, can he? I'm asking that because there is a gilded chest here and it needs to be lock picked. And I don't think I can shoot that. Yep. So, gonna jump over here. Oh, nice. I got healed. And. There. Right. And I'm gonna make a safe here because Will cannot come to open the thing. Disarm. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, let's use one. Just because I, I really hate the loading screen just to, to make a lockpick. My tool will do the trick. There we are. Slippery chain shirt. Examine. Uh, heals a creature, it automatically disengages and won't trigger opportunity attacks. Mm -mm -mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you have it in the meanwhile. seems that's that this is it yeah it was just a little something uh, that i wanted to show you but uh yeah that's all this has to offer it's a little funny thing i i, I thought i thought it was hilarious but yeah let's get going we are going to the beach once again because we are now moving forward before completing a mission well this is in regards to the missions that the sovereign spore gave us we are now going to take the this boat ship we're gonna sail a vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters sail into the darkness I probably should have just a uh, short rest although I got healed by the things on the the chest I don't know what it was but it healed me Why are you in 
Gexraft. What? We aren't expecting more of you. Where's Gek? Who are you? Gek is the one that we killed before. So, a few things here. We can intimidate him. We are a drow in the end. Deception. Tell him that he's dead. He fell fighting the Mycnets. Uh, reach out to the Dwarves Parasite. Or push him into the water. Oh god. <laughs> Shit. No, wait. We're not going to use this. And a safe. I mean, why not? It's good for us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shut off. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it's good. It's experience uh, and yeah, whatever. I just felt like it, quite frankly. Oh, he falls. He falls from the ship, I think. No, he doesn't. What about that guy? It's too far away. Ah, too bad. But what if I... If I just move slightly here. There he goes. <laughs> nice. Okay, so who's stronger? 44. They're all the same. Now oh, this guy is stronger. Karlak. Good idea, Karlak. One more of those, and he's dead. Two HP. Still on my feet. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm gonna... no... Nope. Mm, going to jump here. Ah, uh, that was petty. Should have read that. Okay, not bad. For the uh, time being, that's about it. There is three guys left. Mm. Just gonna cast my trusty good old Eldritch Blast. Almost, almost. Ouch. Damn. Oh, he tried to do the same. Oh, uh, imagine if it, imagine if that would have worked. It would have been quite embarrassing. Nice. Again, he's dead. And let's just do that. Why not? I think I'm just gonna heal, heal, heal myself as well. Oof. Will's been a punching bag today. 
Come on. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Chest there. Mmm. Yeah, we don't have any more rests. That's about it. Let's keep going. The video is all ready. It's ready to sail. Yeah. Continue. Video is already quite longer than usual, and I still need to show a few things. So let's get it going, guys. <laughs> I mean, this happens, you know, like, yeah, I sort of get immersed, even if I'm narrating. This game still has that effect on me. Welcome to the Green Forge, lads. Baby Shar. Women are ready, lass. Company's calling. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? I reckon diplomacy may be in order. The blade could use a breather. Very well. Uh, yeah, we're not looking for trouble. Besides, that right? I'm a true soul as well. And just what do supposedly? <laughs> You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected. I saw infected. Your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall, trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Fuck off. How about that? I'm not paying. Yeah, I'll take your head before you take my goals. Even if we don't have any rest and we beaten up, yeah, prefer Unclog that. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. Oh, but you I'm know. Warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Ah, but the down bolts. But if we want his head, we'll need to free him first. Yeah, Don't that's the, the guy. I'm not leaving them with their captors. It seems like we got quite a few things to do, huh? We want Nurse's head and we need to free the... We need to free the the slaves. Welcome to the Green Forge, guys. Find the night song. Ooh. Hmm. The right. Deep no make, but the design is anything but. What was this ford? Before anything, let us go here to the right. There's a few things we can see. First of all, these guys, skeletons. Dark Justicius Journal. The Dark Justicius basically are like I hope we're able to on elite knights of Lady Shar. Basically, what so um, well, or Shadowheart wants to be or something. The folk leave something to be desired as well. Present company excluded, of course. Damage oh, that used to armor. Stop fishing for compliments. 
you look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms? These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Precisely. Okay, what can we say? Respect for the dead. Bear of death. Whatever killed them made an enemy of uh, an enemy of a powerful goddess. Let us do what we can to avoid their fate then. Very well. Over here, there's that. We'll get to see that. But. I, there is something I need to show you before we finish. So let's get to it. There's some wooden chest here. We'll get to open this. Let's move on to the important matters. Hundred gold, nice. We are past the three thousand gold, I think. Yeah, we are coming this place. Jesus, why is he moving like that? Oh. Can they jump? Of course they can. Whatever comes. So I'm ready. Uh it is locked. Perception failed. A trap. Time yeah, it, it is trapped. So make a save. Oh my god! I'm not using that last inspiration, am I? Ah, fuck it. Jesus Christ! And I, now I have to lockpick it. A magic touch. Yeah, magic touch. Very well. So, thieves tool, this thing, and this shield. I'm now. Ready. What is this? Real Sparky Sparks Wall. Plus two armor class. Lightning Aura. This lads it's the last piece of the Jolt set. And there we are. With the ring and everything we can now with this ring we can now cast the the electric storm with the water and not be electrified ourselves Be pretty much and that is a complete set that's what I wanted to show you We, uh, I did make a mistake and it's the, at the time I chose in the weapon it was supposed to be the staff and not the, the spear so we'll see what we do with shard um, but worry not like Everyone's gonna have different builds, you know, the Karlax spear is gonna be, uh, the, the pike, returning pike is uh, probably gonna change at some point, something interesting. Wheel, lace cell, you know, everyone's gonna have different builds. Never and we are gonna play a lot with that, even when it's not the most important thing in this series. I think it's quite interesting to see. But yeah, that's about it. It's quite a long episode. I really appreciate that you made it this far into the video. Please comment, like, subscribe. Remember, that's really helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.